Hey, what's up guys? So today's video, I'm gonna show you a Vortec supercharger that has failed. It came off a C7 Corvette kit, uh, Stingray, not a Z06, but it came off that and it's a V3 version. So we're gonna crack it open, see what went wrong with it, and then see if we can fix it. So let's see what happens. All right, so his car that this came off of was C7, right? C7. Stingray, right? Stingray Corvette, yes. So he's got Stingray, what was it pushing? It was pushing to the wheels, 667. Oh, that's not bad. That's more than a, a Z, right? Mm -hmm. So anyways, this ended up making a bunch of noise on him. He drained the oil out of it. This is a Vortec, by the way. And it's got a bunch of shavings in it. So we're not gonna fix it today, but we're gonna open it and just see how bad it is. I asked him too, he said he's been doing routine oil changes. So not really any reason why it should have failed, but we'll see. Let's open it up. Oh, bro. Guys, check this thing out. So we took it apart, obviously. Look at all the sludge up in there. Let me get some light in there. Look at that. All metal shavings. This thing, and I'm not too familiar with the insides of a Vortec, but that is what it's looking like. So that thing completely failed. And then here's the bearing casing with our ball bearings that are falling all over the place. But the case took a little bit of a hit, but it looks like you probably still get away with using it. This bearing is perfectly fine. I think it's just whatever this thing is let go. So I'm guessing this is what spins around and throws the oil or slings the oil in this case compared to a pro charger one. But honestly, I think if we got this new bearing and whatever this thing is, I think she'd be back in business because the gears still look all okay. So we're gonna see for a second. Let's mess with it and I'll update you guys in a second. All right guys, so that's the oil slinger. Jonathan just picked it up. That's what it's supposed to look like in there and said we got this melted piece of pizza. <laughs> so realistically, I think if you were to get that oil slinger and that one bearing, we'll double check everything else, but I think you might be back in business. We'll see. All right guys, so we're gonna attempt to, it looks like, like I said, we're gonna clean this thing up, but I'm gonna try and get this race off of here and then we also have to get the outer race that's stuck in there off since this bearing split and the cage is there. Um, I was gonna try and get a three jaw puller on it, which I have here, but I can't get the teeth to hook in. So I think what we're gonna try and do is maybe clean it up. I might try to heat this slightly because this thing is so, I don't know if you guys can see it, but the bottom of it's like blue from the heat. So I might try to heat this up slightly to see if I can pop it off, but I don't wanna put any fire on it just now with the oil on it. So try to clean it up first and then we'll see what we got. And you can see all the ball bearings just sitting down there. I don't think it's moving, but I okay, so I just put a slit in this right here with this cheap little Dremel and I'm gonna bend this thing off since it's in our way. Just reinstall it without your oil slinger and it'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> that used to be an oil slinger. Now it's just a, I don't know what you want to call that, but she's done. I have something to lift the fork. I don't know if this is going to work or be catastrophic. He's but. using a um, ball joint press. Yeah. It's coming up, dude. Is it? Yeah, yeah it is too, isn't it? Yeah. Look. Ball joint press works. This guy went to college. <laughs> 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 all right guys so we ended up pulling this out of here and if you're curious on that this just slides out of here so that comes out of there like so so that just drops in so that way we can clean up all here this bearing is still good but we're going to try and get this outer race out there's a seal here so we have to watch out with our heat over there but we're going to try and heat up this aluminum so that we can get this outer race off so let's see what happens Dude, that thing feels so hot. It's radiating. It's Ooh. Oh, it moved again. Yeah. We gotta get the other side. Get this side. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so after we took the whole thing apart, this is the aftermath and this is what the plan is. So again, this is the oil slinger that looks like it had failed. I don't know if it failed before or after this bearing here, 
So that bearing is toast. We checked everything else and besides a bunch of debris everywhere that we're gonna have to clean out, and you can probably see a bunch of you know filings and everything and here's the oil that he just changed and you can see all the metallic in there so um we're gonna clean this all out all the gears appear to be okay there was a couple fragments that we had to take out of the actual gears but other than that should be good so we have a new oil slinger on order we have a bearing on order and some new oil and we're gonna reassemble it clean everything up and then we should be able to put it back together all right so stay tuned for that video you guys i'll keep you guys posted for part two of this video we will reassemble the vortex supercharger put it all back together and put it back in the car and i'll let you guys know how it works and keep you guys posted but if you guys like it give it a thumbs up subscribe and we'll see you on the next video